Okay, students, this video is a guide for you to do checking and correction on the homework that we had done for the first online class. Okay, so for those work who had uploaded to the Google Classroom, I have checked okay, and had returned back to you through Google Classroom. So please do your checking once again using your red pen and also do correction using the red pen as well for those mistakes you had done okay so now we move on okay the first practice will be this okay if you still remember what we had done a price a 15 ringgit price increase increase is positive so we put positive 15 okay number two three points given for good behavior given give so we gain three marks we get three marks so positive three okay number three 250 ringgit withdrawn withdrawn means you take out from bank you take the money out from bank so the money from your bank getting lesser so this one is negative 250 okay number four 450 meter below Below sea level means if this one is sea level, below is down here. So below will be negative 450. Next, move to the east 28 km. East, okay, according to the geography, okay. So if you draw the direction, so here will be north, right? East will be here. Here we found that east means move to the right. Move to the right means positive. So this one will be positive 28. Okay, number six. Five points taken for bad behavior means five point deduct minus five marks. Okay, so negative five. Number seven. Gain profit 185 ringgit. Profit means you gain money. So this one is very good if you do business. So this one should be positive 185. Next, 12 degrees Celsius above zero, above. Opposite with below. If below is negative, here's above will be positive. So this one is positive 12. Okay, we move up. Number nine. Number nine, 630 ringgit deposit in bank. Deposit means you bank in the money. You bank in the money so the saving in your bank become more and more. So this one will be positive 630 ringgit. And lastly, lost four games in a competition. Loss. Okay, opposite with win. So loss means negative four. Alright, so Class, once again, I remind you during when you go through this video, please use your red pen to do checking and also to do correction if you did mistake. Okay, now we move on. Self practice 1.1a from your textbook, page 3, number 1. For each situation, okay, each situation represents two opposite changes using positive and negative numbers okay the mistake i found that is many students forgot to answer this question so now we check this question question a this is the sea level so the aeroplane the aeroplane is above the sea level above the sea level so this one is positive 1000 okay however the submarine is below below the sea level so below means negative 250 so we had used the positive and negative number to represent the given situation okay now we move on question b make a profit profit means you gain more money so this one should be positive 2000 and the next situation will be loss loss is opposite compare with profit so it will be negative 500 okay so this is the solution and answer for question one now we move on okay integer hopefully you still remember what we mean by integer for the first online class integer means all those number with positive and negative sign including zero and remember the numbers we mean is whole number 
hints, fractions, and also decimals cannot be integer, only whole numbers. Okay, so now we look at number one, question number one. All right, question number one. In the following table, okay, take for integer, cross for non-integer. So we move on. The first one, 3 over 4 is a fraction. Fraction, no, not integer. So we cross it. Number 2, negative 24. 24 is a whole number, yes. 35, yes, whole number. 6.7, 6.7 is a decimal, so not integer. Next, negative 29, yes, integer, because 29 is whole number. 900, yes. Negative 4.34, decimal, uh-uh, non-integer. Next, 72, yes. Next, negative 1 over 2 is a fraction, also non-integer. And lastly, 0, yes, 0, consider whole number, so 0 also integer. Okay, so if you get all correct, it will be very good. And now we look at number 2. Okay, select integers from the following list of number and write them in the diagram. So this diagram we call circle map, circle shape, right? Circle map. Okay, so first one, 0 0.25, non-integer because decimal. Second, 1 over 3 also non-decimal, sorry, non-integer because this is a fraction. Okay, 48, yes, whole number. So we put 48 here. Next, negative 12, yes. Next, negative 2.8, no. 2.8 is decimal, so non-integer. Next, negative 2 over 7, also non-integer because it is fraction. 0, yes. 59, yes. 458, yes. And lastly, negative 6, yes. Okay, so once again, teacher emphasize here, integers are all those whole number with positive and negative sign, including 0. Okay, so 同学, integer 就是有正和负的整数, whole number 就是整数, 它可以positive 也可以negative, 一正一负但是如果有分数和小数点他们永远不能够是integer okay, 所以要清楚什么是integer Alright, we proceed to the next part Okay, we try to represent the integer on number line So complete each of the following number lines Okay, so firstly, we need to find out Okay, how we can get the next number Okay, how we can get the next number? So for sure, we will add 4, right? So what number add with 4, we'll get 4, 0. 4 add with 4, we'll get 8. So when we move here, okay, negative 12 add with 4, we'll get negative 8. Alright, okay, so question B, the number getting bigger. So we try to find out how much so negative 32 we minus negative 24. We found each time we'll add on how much? We'll add on 8. Okay, so negative 24 we add 8 will become negative 16. Okay, and negative 48 we add 8 will become negative 40. So how to get this one? For this one we need to do inverse. Okay, we need to do inverse. So if inverse will become negative 8. So negative 48, negative 8 again will get negative 56. Okay, you can get all this answer by using your calculator also. Just press it and then you check the answer with your calculator. And one thing you must be remember that, okay, for number line, when we go to the right hand side, the number will getting bigger and bigger. But when we move to the left hand side, the number will become smaller and smallest. Okay? Next, cell practice 1.1D. Okay. So 1.1D, we need to arrange, compare and arrange 
the first question in ascending order. Ascending order, as I told you, ascending order, going up. Going up means from the smallest to the biggest. So smallest always start from negative number. Okay, the bigger the negative number, the smallest the value. So, 同学们，你要记得，我们要做 ascending 就是顺序。顺序呢，就是从小到大。小的呢，就是一定是 negative。那么 negative 的情况是，那个号码越 negative， 它反而越小，因为它负数越大。明白吗？就好像欠债越多就越穷。Okay, so here the smallest will be negative six. Okay, so question one we start from negative six, follow with negative four, and next we follow with negative two. So after all the negative integer, we、we'll、continue with zero, one, three, five. Okay, so can you see? Start from zero. When you move to the right, the number getting bigger and bigger to show the bigger value. If you start from the zero, move to the left. Okay, the value will getting smaller and smaller. Okay, even though the number getting bigger because of the negative sign opposite way. Okay, so now next we continue with question two. This time we need to arrange them in descending order. Descending order, go down, moving down. So from the biggest to the smallest. If you want to start from biggest, we start from the positive number. So the biggest will be four. Continue with three. Continue with two. Continue with negative one, negative three, negative four, and lastly negative five. Okay, so this is the answer for self practice one point one D. So students, once again, teacher remind here, please do your checking and correction using your red pen. Next, we move on. Okay, mastery Q one point one. Okay, from your textbook page six, number one until number five. Okay, so now we move on. If Twenty positive twenty represent twenty meter above sea level. So the negative twenty, negative twenty means negative twenty meter below sea level. Okay. So we just change the keyword based on the given sentence from above to below. Okay. Next question B. If positive ninety represent a movement of Ninety meter to the north. To the north means upward. Okay, north means here, upward. So opposite means we go to the down. Down here means south. Okay, so we will put the answer is represent a movement of ninety meter to the south. All right. Next C. If positive eight hundred represent eight hundred ringgit being credit into a saving account, then eight hundred ringgit being debit. Debit means withdrawn. You take out the money. Okay. If you take out the money, so will be negative eight hundred. Next question D. If positive one thousand represent a profit, profit so positive, then a loss. Loss is opposite, so we will get negative one thousand. All right, okay. Next question two. Question two. Okay, state positive. State the following numbers using positive or negative sign. Okay, question A. If we wish this eighty less than zero, less than zero, so we need to put negative sign. Question B. Seventy six more than zero more. Okay, so we get positive. Okay, number three. List all the integer. List means you need to list out, write everything. Write all the integer. 列出来 Okay, so from means starting from negative eight. So we have negative eight, negative seven, negative six, negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one. Where do we stop? Until four. So we continue zero, one, two. Three, four. Okay, so this is answer for three A. Then we continue with B. 
B, we start from negative 2 until negative 2. So here we go. We have negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2. So remember, list means you have to write everything. Okay? And next, we move on for the next question. Number 4. Determine whether each of the following number is an integer. We want integer. Whether this number is integer, yes or no. Okay? So there will be a, some smart student. They will do like this. Okay? They write. For question number 4, they write integers. Okay, non-integer. So integer, whole number, yes, negative 14. 3.9, no, decimal, so non-integer. 12, yes, whole number. Negative 26, yes. 85, yes. 0, yes. Negative 2, yes. Okay, so determine means each number, you have to determine whether they are integer or non-integer. You have to write for every number there. Okay? Next, number five, compare and arrange. Okay? And arrange. Arrange from coldest. Beginning from the coldest. Coldest means the lowest. Okay? So, we start from the lowest, negative four. Next, Negative 3, continue with 1, and continue with 2 degrees Celsius. Lastly, 4 degrees Celsius. Okay, so class, this is the answer and solution for the homework for our first online class. So please, when you go through this video, use your red pen, do checking and correction on your exercise book or on the work that you had done. Alright, thank you class.